Hello, my name is Rosa Ion and today I will present you a remote control for a digital camera based on Arduino and the touch shell slide. This remote supports two devices, one on uh, device port 1, which is always a camera, and one on device port 2, which can be a flash, another camera, two flashes, or two other devices. It can also be controlled by uh, two sensors. In my case, I have one uh, sound sensor and one light sensor. Uh, the menus are uh, presented on the top side of the screen. This is a touch screen. So we have the manual mode. In the manual mode we can control uh, device 1 or the camera uh, like uh, we are controlling directly by pressing the focus or, uh, or shutter button. And we can also control the second device uh, if it is a camera or a flash depends on the mode. Uh, if the sequence is disabled, then the device 2 is controlled by hand. Uh, at this moment, device 2 is set to nothing, but uh, if you press the button right here, we can change the device mode to camera, to flash, or to split. To split means that I can connect uh, to device to uh, two flashes or two other uh, cameras. So, if I use it like um, like a camera, then by pressing F1, this will enable the focus on the camera one, and by pressing S1, it will uh, enable the shutter button on the camera one. The same thing will happen when we press F2 or S2. If we change the mode for the for device 2, then by pressing only the F2 button we will enable the, the flash or we can enable a sequence between the two devices connected uh, on uh, device to port. If I enable the sequence, then the device 2 is automatically controlled by, uh, by the device 1. For example, I, I enable the focus on device 1 and when I press the shutter on device 1, after 10 milliseconds, the device 2 is also enabled. Uh, the timings here can be controlled by pressing on each each value and on the bottom side we have the control for the the values. Simple arrow means plus minus one and double arrow means plus minus twenty. So we can change the value here we can press the set button or we can press again on the the parameter and the, the value is set. To exit to the main menu we press the home icon. The second menu is the bulb menu. This menu enables users to, to take uh, long exposure photos so in here we have the following parameters. On the top side there is a, a countdown timer which enables the user to, to program the remote to take pictures after a defined uh, time interval. 
for example, if I want to take pictures at midnight uh, and I want to set the remote in the afternoon, I will set the corresponding interval in hours, minutes and seconds and when this countdown timer will be zero, then the, the remote will start controlling the, the camera. Uh, like in manual mode, we can control the second device uh, automatically by using the sequence and the exposure for the for the camera is set by these two parameters the first one it will set the, the exposure for the camera how long the picture will be exposed and the second parameter is the time needed for uh, for the camera to process the the image. For example, if I use uh, noise reduction or uh, features similar to this one, I have to take care what time I will set because uh, this time usually is the same time as the, the exposure time. So I will set the delay time to do three, four, five seconds. I will press start button. I will wait five seconds and after that the remote will take the picture. And this is the bulb menu. The time lapse menu is uh, a mode dedicated to time lapse photography. So, in this case, on the upper side, I have the, the time interval between each shot. This parameter here enables me to wake up the camera uh, before uh, taking the picture. Because if I set this interval long enough, uh, then the camera will go into sleep mode. So every time I have to wake it up. The last parameter on the first row is the numbers of pictures that I want to, to take in this mode. So I will set any number I would like. The sequence parameter and the split delay are the same as in manual and bulb mode. Uh, the bulb mode combined with style lapse will enable me to take uh, pictures of start rails. So I wa if I want to, to make a long exposure photography at night, I have to, to enable this mode and uh, it will enable me to, to take uh, photography of the stars or the moon or other events that I would like. The last row on this, um, this screen is the delay between the time that I want to set up the camera <coughs> and the time that uh, the camera will start to be controlled by, by the remote. So if I press start, the counter will, go, will start to Now the time lapse is in action. We have to wait the number of seconds and uh, the next picture will be taken. Anytime I can press the stop button and I will go out from this menu in the force mode. The clip menu is a menu similar to time lapse. The difference is that on this menu the parameters allows me to easily make a short movie using a camera in time lapse mode. So we have in the upper side the delay delay timer. We have the wake up time. The the time the length of the movie that I want to take in seconds 
you can see that if I modify this this parameter also the numbers the numbers of frames will be changed I can change the frame rate for this uh, this clip and I can also change the the interval between each each picture or each frame the HDR button here enables me to to, to make HDR uh, time-lapse movies to use this feature I have to enable on the camera the multiple exposure mode so I have to to also set the EV interval for each picture and the, the remote will send free free commands to take free free picture pictures in the trigger mode the remote will work with one or two sensors and will control one or two devices um, on the first row is the first sensor the sensor is set to trigger at a high value this means that the device controlled by this sensor will trigger at a value between 512 and 1023 uh, with blue we have here the reading of the sensor at this moment uh, I have no sensor connected on the second line is the the settings for for the sensor tool in this case the sensor is set to to trigger to low this means that any value between 0 and 512 will trigger the the camera uh, we have the first device on the third row so the first device can be the first device can be triggered by none of the sensors by sensor 1 by sensor 2 by sensor 1 or sensor 2 and the final mode is by sensor 1 and sensor 2 so each condition for each sensor have to be met before the the remote will give command to take a picture the same is for the the second device uh, for each device we have a delay time this is the time between the sensor detects the threshold value and uh, the camera will take the picture we can also filter the readings from the sensors for each sensor I can set a time between none of the events detected by the sensor it process is processed by this by this remote and finally on the last row we have the device to mode which can be set to nothing or can be set to a camera or a flash or a split device you can press start button and uh, the remote will start to read from uh, from the sensors and you can press the button to end this mode in the dark room this is a similar mode with the trigger one uh, the difference is that in this case the device one or the camera is uh, set to bulb mode so the shutter is open if we have uh, dark in the room we can only control we can only have to control the device too which in this case has to be uh, flash or two flashes because we want to make uh, light for the for the camera to see the event and also this mode is faster because I can only process uh, one device not both devices like in trigger mode so I have to to start the mode 
if I want to stop it I will press the stop button like in the trigger mode I can choose which sensor will control the the device connected to port 2 in HDR mode we have the exposure time this is the exposure time set to 0 EV we can set the EV interval here and uh, the numbers of pictures that I want to, to take to make uh, HDR picture in this case the number can vary between 3 and 17 so for these settings I set here I can only take 5 pictures if I change this you can see that in this case I can then take only one picture oh, three pictures sorry no only three pictures so I will press start I will wait some time and the mode is finished in the bullet mode or the fast moving objects mode this remote requires a special sensor uh, which has uh, two photodiodes uh, mounted on it each photodiode will detect an object passing through and uh, the distance between these two photodiodes will help me to calculate the speed of the object so we will have the distance from the sensor through the target in this case the target can be a water balloon and we want to to take that picture so we have to take the to insert the the distance the distance is set in centimeters all you have to do is press start button and wait uh, this mode also supports gravity mode uh, for example if I want to take a picture of a falling object I will enable the gravity because in this case the speed is much, much slower than uh, the one of the bullet so I will enable gravity and press start and go on uh, also in uh, this mode if the um, object that passed through the sensor um, doesn't it, it is doesn't uh, it is not detected by one of the photodiodes then the remote will bring up some uh, error message the last mode of this uh, remote is uh, the water drops this mode requires a special device that uh, uses uh, a solenoid valve this valve controls the uh, water flow through a nozzle so in order to, to make a drop of water of a certain size I have to, to set the time for the valve to be open so these times here will enable me to vary the, the size of the drop between each drop I have to to stop the valve so there is a delay between the, the two drops and also we have to to set a delay between the last drops the last drop and the um, the time when the camera will take the picture by pressing start we will enable the 
the mode. And finally, the settings menu enables me to to set the the profile. This remote will support only three profiles, zero, one, and two. For each profile, we can save all the parameters for all the the menus. So if you want to have quick access to some configuration, you can save it and uh, you can only load a certain profile. Um, so when we want to save the profile, we will uh, push the save button. If I want to load a certain profile, I will press the load button and uh, the remote will be reset so I have to, to go back to to the settings menu if I want to reset the profile to the predefined values I have to press the reset button only if you want to we have the buzzer on off if I want to to make a small sound every time I touch um, a button or uh, a parameter I can enable this or disable it the MLU button is the mirror lockup and this means that when I enable it the camera also has to to have the enable the mirror lookup mode because in this mode we have to send uh, before we take the picture we have to send the shutter uh, command and also we have to set a small delay time because the the mirror will induce some vibrations and you have to wait to these vibrations to end so this time is the time needed for those vibrations to to end we have to if you have to set the brightness of the screen let's say that you you are using the remote on a shiny day you can set the the brightness of the the screen between 0 and 4 uh, if the brightness is at maximum you have to take care because the power consumption of the remote will be increased and the last parameter here, the button time. The button time is the time needed for the camera to see or to feel the electrical impulse sent by the, the remote. For example, for my 450D, it will have to be between 1 milliseconds and 2 milliseconds. I think it is 1.6 milliseconds. So I set this time to to two. This is it. I hope you enjoy it, and I wait your comments on my site or uh, on YouTube. Goodbye.